Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. In the book of Revelation, chapter 4, we read where John was taken to heaven, and he's seen the beauty thereof. It also tells of him before the throne of God, where there were four beasts. The first beast was like a lion. The second beast was like a calf. The third beast had a face like a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. As we study further, we see that there are pictures of Jesus Christ portrayed in the four Gospels. Matthew pictures Jesus as a king to the nation of Israel. The genealogy of Jesus is recorded in the first chapter of Matthew, clear back to Abraham, showing that he has the right to sit on the throne of David. Nearly 40 times it's written the kingdom from heaven is at hand, because Jesus Christ, the king, was at hand. In the book of Revelation, Christ is called the lion from the tribe of Judah, the root of David. It's prophesied that Jesus Christ will return in the future and he will be the king of the world. We who believe that he is our one and only Savior will set under his governorship. What a wonderful promise to look forward to. The Gospel of Mark portrays Christ as a servant, and a servant is one that always is working and serving. And first of all, he did all the work regarding our salvation. There's nothing left for man to do. God will not accept man's work for salvation. Only the work of Christ will do. That's why he came and died on Calvary, and Christ continues to work for us. In 1 John 5.14, it says that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Verse 15 says we will receive what we have asked for. The third beast had a face of a man, and in the book of Luke, we find the genealogy of Christ taken way back to Adam. Here Christ is pictured as the Son of Man. He was born of human flesh, but it was sinless flesh. The Father of Jesus was the Holy Spirit of God. And Second Corinthians 5.21, it says the sins of man were placed on him when he died on the cross, but he had no sin of his own. In the Gospel of John, Christ is portrayed as a flying eagle. There are no genealogies in the book of John because he is portrayed here as the Son of God. And because he is equally God, he has no beginning or ending. When Jesus was born of Mary, it was not his beginning. In the book of St. John, Jesus is called the Word. And in chapter 1, verse 14, it says the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. This can't be anyone but Christ. In verse 1 through 3 of that chapter, it says that he was from the very beginning with God the Father. Verse 3 says everything was made by him, and without him nothing was made. Everything we see on the land or in the sky was made by his hand. There can be absolutely no doubt that Jesus Christ is God. Yet there are those who deny the deity of Christ. Anyone who has trusted Christ as their Savior has been indwelt by the Holy Spirit and have the ability to read and understand the Scriptures. And in the book of Hebrews 10, verse 7, and in Psalms 40, verse 7, Christ tells us that he came in the volume of the book. In other words, the entire Bible speaks of him. So we see that it is prophesied of his coming. It tells of his sinlessness, and in Acts 4.12, we're told that there is no salvation in any other name under heaven, whereby we must be saved. In closing, I would like to talk of how someone can be declared righteous, and thereby be a part of the family of God. First of all, in John 3.16, it's written, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 3.24 says that we are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Those who deny Christ have not trusted Him as their Savior. And as it says in 1 Corinthians 1.18, the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us who are saved, it's the power of God unto salvation. Christ had to die on the cross to pay for our sin. The cross is where our sins were placed on him. God accepted his son's work as a complete payment. He will not accept man's work as a payment for their sin. This has been Pastor Tom Adams. May the grace and love of God become more and more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now and thank you for